Dr. Hampton just got here. We're all going to start cheering when he comes in. Yeah! <laughs> this isn't just affirmation, but giving credit where due. I really appreciate Dr. Hampton. I would never would have started carnivore. It's changed. My, I'm gonna get choked up. Yeah. Right? It's changed my life forever. I never would have started if it wasn't for good, Man. brave doctors like you getting out there sharing the word. It's so important. We gotta elevate his voice. I was in so much pain. I was told I had to have surgery, and I just came across one of Carrie's. Uh, he had an RNA test done, and his cancer score was zero. Gary here from Homestead How Healing Humanity. It's 5 o'clock in the morning. What an absolutely incredible day it was yesterday. We filmed Dr. Tony Hampton. I gotta, I gotta show you guys just maybe just one picture. Maybe just one? Oh my goodness. Look at this. Credit Adam. I was over here behind the camera. Dr. Hampton. Man. Adam. Adam is a talent. If I look a little tired, it's 5 a.m. and I'm just getting started here. I gotta give an update on my friend Bill. This is just incredible what's going on. I just, I can't believe it. We got in Chicago last night, the night before last. Uh, I did a quick video about Bill, Bill needing our help. I wrote down right here from this very seat, Bill's GoFundMe was at 20475 And I decided to donate $1,000 of my own money to help Bill out with his MRI and some other issues that he's got going on and because he was stressing out about things. And I put a video out and I, I asked if other people wanted to donate and help Bill out. Absolutely unbelievable. So I'm gonna pull this up here right now. Look at this. Focus, focus, $51,000. What is going on? Yesterday, or the, the day before yesterday, $20,000, and it's over $50,000 right now. Like, am I even awake right now, or is this a dream? $30,000 for Bill now. I said Bill is going to be pissed off at me for, uh, for doing this on his behalf. He wasn't, he wasn't. He was so excited and overjoyed with everyone's generosity. But then it went on the other end that the reason I did this for him is because I'm like, Bill, you don't stress about this. Don't worry about this. It's going to be okay. Now on the other end, he was stressing and worrying because it's become too much. It's too generous and it's too much. And he's like, we got to shut it down. We got to stop it. I said, Bill, it's your call. You tell me what to do. And then I told him, I'm like, I want to just leave it and tell people like I am right here. It's too much. It's too generous. Thank you so much. Bill got his MRI yesterday. Thank goodness. And thank goodness he tolerated it well, although it wasn't easy. He actually sent me a video his brother took of him going in the MRI machine. And then Bill updated me last night during the dinner and said that it's a waiting game now. They have to have, they send it off and it's got to be read by a specialist expert. So it could be a couple days before he hears back. So it's done and he's fine and he's back at home and he tolerated it and he can't thank everyone enough. And I can't, I'm speechless. It's $30,000. What is going on? The carnivore community is, is so generous. And um, I mentioned this in the, in the video before. This MRI, up. everyone has overwhelmingly been positive. A few people are like, this doesn't make sense. Like, what's going on? A lot of people don't understand U.S. healthcare and costs. This was a specialty MRI machine for an emergency situation 
on a Saturday that he's paying out of pocket for. This is an incredible expense. He still has funds left from his original GoFundMe, but there were some other expenses that came up in the meantime. That's Bill's business. I'm not getting into all of that. Um, but he still had the money to do this before, but it was going to wipe him out was the thing. And what's the long-term plan after you get wiped out? And in my mind, what are the odds that this is, it's going to be great. The results are going to be great, but what are the odds that there isn't any follow-up or additional testing or appointments that he's going to need after this? And then the mold issue in his basement. So now he's set. Like what? This is insane. I just can't believe it. I'm, I'm still kind of waking up here. It's five o'clock in the morning. Yesterday all day we filmed uh, Dr. Tony Hampton. Well, we, we prepared to film him and then we filmed him and it was just incredible. So inspiring, Dr. Hampton. What a good doctor, what a good man, what a good example. Everyone out there, if you're not checking out Dr. Tony Hampton, if you're not following Dr. Tony Hampton, if you're not supporting him and raising his voice, you're missing out. An incredible person. I just watched him yesterday in awe, just not just filming him for our documentary, um, but at the dinner and interacting with people afterwards. I did a little thing. I'll see if I can edit this in here quick. This was my idea. I'm going to take credit for this. At the meetup, um, a lot of people gathered early and we were in the little banquet room and I said, when Dr. Hampton comes, we should all just start clapping and cheering. It'll just be kind of, I'm like, it'll just be kind of funny. And so he came in and we did it. It was just a beautiful Beautiful moment. Dr. Hampton just got here. We're all going to start cheering when he comes in. Yeah, right. Where are you from? Uh, Columbus. Well, I'm from Lexington, Kentucky. But I. Uh... Yeah! Talk through here, talk through here. <laughs> uh, he went around and talked to every single person there. He, he stood up and he just basically gave like a, it was almost like a little carnivore conference. He spoke and we didn't ask him to do that and it was amazing. Individually talking to every single person there. And then the dinner we had afterwards, just absolutely amazing. I, I said this before, I'm going to say it again. You got to give credit where due, but. So when I walked in this room, <laughs> that happened other than peeing on myself. <laughs> oh, I, I Physical have a touch. Yeah. I, have, I know. Give it to him, Doc. <laughs> uh, no. uh, uh, this, this, this isn't just affirmation, but giving credit where due. I really appreciate Dr. Hampton. I never would have started carnivore. It's changed my, I'm going to get choked up. Yeah. Yeah. It's changed my life forever. I never would have started if it wasn't for good, Man. brave doctors like you getting out there sharing the word. It's so important. We've got to elevate his voice and all the voices like yeah. that. So thank you so thank much. Thank you so much. Man. I these, these good doctors like Dr. Tony Hampton, Dr. Tony Hampton could just go be a doctor and he could make an incredible living being a doctor and then he could go spend time with the most important thing in his world is family and focus only on that. But this mission, metabolic health and changing people's lives, some of the stories Dr. Hampton was telling me, he said well, in the early days being a doctor, every now and then he'd help someone get off their meds. Now it's like a regular occurrence. Helping people get off their medication and regaining their life forever. That really hit home to me because I was on so much medication for so long and it did nothing for me. And I'm, I'm on zero now. And he's doing that for people over and over again. And the, the very limited time that a very busy doctor has, he's spending it with people like me and other YouTubers educating and sharing the importance of metabolic health and how life-changing it is for people because he's a good person, a great person, a good doctor. That's what he, that's why he became a doctor was to help people. And he's helping people with his hands. He's helping people at his clinic, but he's also helping people 
educating them and teaching them and sharing this good word, which he's basically volunteering his time to do. And then I met so many amazing individuals. It's so surreal yesterday. I said this yesterday at this meetup, I don't know, 50 people there, all these amazing carnivores. I'm looking over and I see who's your carnivore, Brett, carnivorous grandma, uh, Ashley and Rhett, the carnivore brothers. But this is surreal. I said to Emma yesterday, I'm like, what is going on? I look, there's Robin's sitting over there. We watch her on YouTube all the time. There's Brett from Hoosier Carnivore. I'm sitting next to Dr. Tony Hampton. Seven months ago, I didn't know what carnivore was. And now I'm interviewing doctors. Like, look at this. Look at this other shot. I, I, Adam's going to be mad at me. This, this is Adam's work, who's amazing. He's still got to touch up these photos and stuff. But I took a quick little peek. Look at this other one. We... What we did yesterday with Dr. Hampton, I can't wait to share with the world. Shout out Adam from Carnivore Today and shout out Dr. Hampton. Uh, we captured some amazing, amazing words from Dr. Hampton. And we did it in a really, like, if a job's worth doing, it's worth doing well. I don't know how we could have done it any better. We had two of these cameras running simultaneously. And then Adam was on a third camera. We had double redundancy with the mics. We had a beautiful setup. The lighting, we spent forever getting the composition and the lighting just perfect. I can't wait to share this with the world. I was saying to Dr. Hampton, I can't wait for the day that's going to happen. I can see it in my head too, where it says, Healing Humanity on the Marquee at Montello Theater, starring Dr. Tony Hampton. I was like, you and your wife are coming out and getting your picture taken in front of that. And then it's going to be at movie theaters all over the world. This I'm not going to stop until we reach millions of people with this. So It's been like a day, maybe two days. Did the little video for Bill. I wrote down on here $20,000. It's at $50,000 right now. More importantly, Bill is doing well. He was able to get his MRI. He's not having to stress and, and I'm worried he's going to have a heart attack. He's stressing out so much about this stuff. Uh, and he's doing very well. And thank you guys so much. And you, the generosity is beyond imaginable. Dr. Tony Hampton, so inspiring. And then all these individuals. I don't know. Okay. So, my son is 40 and never smoked. Went to the doctor, found out he had lung cancer. So, they decided they would have to do a lobectomy. The bottom third of his right lung, they removed it. S scary. But as the day he finished his, in the hospital, I said, when you come home, you're going on carnival. I've been a carnival. He said, you're going to be a carnival? Not too thorough. He went on it, got out of the hospital March 8th, November 25th. He lost 110 pounds. He'd gone from a size 52 pants to a 46 wow. in that little bit of time. He had an RNA test done, and his cancer score was zero. So he continues to stay on it. So listen to Lesson learned. Listen to mom. <laughs> since February 22nd nice. and uh, it's been amazing and I'm just really super excited to be here and meet everybody. Absolutely and, and she doesn't look like a grandma in person. No. <laughs> we're, the, we're, the, we're the carnivore brothers. Oh, right? yes. I'm Ash, Ashley Rogers and my I'm brother Rhett. Rhett. Yeah. Cool. I'm from Texas. He's from Washington. Washington, Washington State. Wow. And wow. We, we, uh, we both started our YouTube channel few months ago, okay. the Carnivore Brothers, but we started our Carnivore journey about eight months or so ago. All right, cool. Driving. I love it. Day 259. And who yeah. started first? I did. You did start? Okay, cool. And yeah. you dragged him and brought it. Oh, yeah, I didn't have to brag anything. He saw oh. the results. He right. saw it on Facebook. He saw it and said, what are you doing? And right. And he had to jump. I don't think he even researched. I think he started the next you gotta day. got to be like Big Brother. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, my name's Brett. I'm from Indianapolis. Indiana. I've got a YouTube channel called Who's Your Carnivore. Um, I'm just really happy to be here and meet everyone. Um, I started my carnivore journey on uh, March 17th on St. Patrick's Day, about the same time Carrie did, and I'm down 60 pounds from my heaviest. No more tennis elbow, no more aches and pains. Type 2 diabetes is done. All right. 
Hello, this I'm Ed. This is my wife. My wife. Uh, I have a YouTube channel at Carnivorous Dudes Online. Um, I was actually inspired by Carrie to start that. Those videos are little shorts of just easy ways to eat carnivore and how you, how quick and easy you can just do a meal. Correctly, Delandria. It's a beautiful name. She's uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave a link to her channel below amazing individual we met her in the lobby and i knew about her earlier because she sent me some of her music on youtube and she's a carnivore and dr hampton went around and asked everyone their story and she started telling her story and she was tearing up and i was tearing up i'm delandria mills i'm a flutist i'm a professional flutist and i teach at morgan state peabody institute and baltimore city schools and i'm a widow i think i may have said that before but i was so i was in so much pain i was told i had to have surgery and i just came across one of Carrie's uh, videos and I was like, okay, I'm going to give this a try. It was maybe in, I don't know, March or April. But I've lost 17 pounds. I uh, feel a lot better. I can get out of bed without pain. Yeah. I teach until like 7 o'clock and I have energy. And it's just been, it's been beautiful. In my, yeah, I'm just happy I can be a better mom to my son and I can be a better teacher and I'm, I'm here for myself. I can get up and practice, and I'm just happy. So I'm trying to get this to stick. I'm the food and carnivore. Yeah. <laughs> right. But I'm the right. I'm very uh, happy to be here. If Bella can do her piano thing, you can definitely do your food. I so appreciate it. It adds a whole nother flavor. Yeah, right. Thank you. How long did it take before you felt better, though? Like, oh, maybe two weeks. I was trying yeah. to, it was, it was like, okay. it felt like it was overnight. All right. Cool. And immediately I realized I wasn't limping anymore. After an MRI, and I asked my sister's best friend because I was kind of feeling like, well, maybe this guy that's a doe side so called to Texas, and she asked her best friend, who, and he looked over the notes. He's like, yeah, D, you need, you need surgery. I don't need surgery. The inflammation is gone, and I'm fine. Yeah, but I almost went there. I was so close. Mm. So I'm the very inflammation grateful. is so important. Mm. If you get the inflammation out of the picture. What happens is, um, again, even if the damage is still there, it, if it's not causing enough pain, you certainly wipe exactly. out. So, a beautiful so I'm just going to keep doing my thing and hopefully I'll bring my family along with me. That sounds good. Yeah. Well, I can't wait to see that, yeah, that personality with that flu. Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Behind the camera, like a big baby, just hearing, like, she saw one of my videos and that inspired her and it's... It, changed her life carnivore has she changed her own life deciding to do it but amazing like a new friend and then we're we gave her a ride back from the dinner last night and we were talking and just all these little things in common uh carnivore community is just amazing just absolutely amazing it's five o'clock in the morning here i should be sleeping right now but i got to share some of this footage with you so i was going to put, put together this quick video and share it and very shortly, I'm heading to Canada to film Jeff to Prosperous. Blessings on my journey. That man is a warrior and inspiration. Like, this is going to be too much. All this inspiring, amazing, beautiful people yesterday. And that's all ramping up to a long car ride that Adam and I are going to take to then go capture a very, very, very important story from an incredible individual. Jeff D, stage four cancer. I uh, stage four colon cancer that has metastasized to the liver. Full, liver's fully covered. Um, I've been deemed inoperable, incurable, palliative, terminally ill. In my year of chemo, I did five scans, and, and every single one of those scans, the tumors on my liver and the primary tumor all got smaller. What happens when the mitochondria goes wrong gives me hope to say, hey, I can fix this. I caused this problem, I can fix it. There's a million people right now, if you Google it, that are going through chemo. And I bet you the vast majority of them aren't aware of what he's talking about and how beneficial it can be to them. Well, you know what? I would like them to know what all the options are, right? Oh, it's unbelievable. Uh, that, that, that does give me hope. Uh, using metabolic therapy, carnivore diet, uh, amongst many other things on his regimen to help himself talk about a selfless person. Imagine having stage four cancer and wanting to educate other people and help other people during that time. Jeff's story is so important and I can't wait to, I can't wait to document it and share it with the world. And we're going to keep on moving with healing humanity, the power of a proper human diet.